Hi, in this video tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to send an email from within your application. So a typical use of this might be to allow people with your app to be able to send you some feedback. So we're just going to have a subject line and an area in here where we can type in a quick message. Okay, so you have people sending you great information, great feedback. So we're going to click the send button. I didn't set up the keyboard here to retract, so we're just going to click the send button. And it brings up your email program and it puts in an email address that we're going to hard code in there so that we can make sure that it comes directly to us. And we'll grab the subject information and the body of the message. And then from here, the user can decide whether they want to cancel it or whether they want to go ahead and send. Now, when you're testing this on the simulator, you can't send email via the simulator. So in order to just test this and make sure it works, you will have to test it on an actual device capable of sending email. OK, so to get started, I'm going to create a new Xcode project. And I'm just going to use a single view application and click Next. And I'm just going to call this Send Email. And the only thing I'm going to have checked is Use Automatic Reference Counting and click Next and then Save It. Now in the demonstration here, we're going to set up this email so that once the user does click Send, it will take them back into the application. So either way, clicking send or cancel, we want the user to come back into our application and not just kind of leave them hanging there. And in order to do that, we're going to be using the, the message UI framework. So the first thing we'll do with our application is to add that framework. So I'm going to make sure my targets is selected. And on the summary tab, if you scroll down, there's a section in here for linked frameworks and libraries. Now, by default, we get these three frameworks, the UI kit, the foundation, and core graphics. But we have a lot of other frameworks that we have available to us. And there's no sense in including everything in there. It, it only adds to make your app a larger size. So what we want to do is just pick and choose the different things to include in here that our app needs to work with. And in this case, it is the message user interface. So we want the message UI framework. And then we'll click Add. And you'll be able to see it listed in here for our linked framework libraries. So now that gives us access to different methods and classes for just messaging. So now that we have that, I'm going to go into my interface file and I'm going to set it up. And I'm just going to add a label at the top. I'm going to have a text for the subject, and then the area for the user to type in is going to be a text view. All right, so I'm going to call this subject, and so the placeholder I'm just going to put in as subject so the user knows what kind of information should go in there. And for this message area, we automatically get this Greek text in here, so I'm just going to delete that all out of there. Now you can set up things in here for this, like capitalization, if you want sentences, um, if you want auto-correction in here. So you can play around with some of those options. And then this is just going to be the title for my screen, so I'll just set this up really quickly and say like send feedback. I want that centered. And to make it look a little nicer, I'm going to choose a different background other than this gray. And I'm going to choose from this palette. Uh, this color palette has the iPhone SDK. And I'm going to choose this little textured background color because I kind of like that. And now I need to take my text and make it a little brighter, maybe a little bigger. Okay, and then the last thing we need on here is a button that will trigger that they're ready to send the message. So I'm going to choose just a round rectangle button and we're just going to set that up to be send. Okay, so now I have my user interface set up. Next we're going to
create these outlets and actions that our interface is going to use. So I'll close out of the utility panel and open up the assistant editor. Right, and uh, this is going to be an outlet. So I'm going to right click and drag and I'm just going to call this subject. Let's call this message. And the button is going to be an ID action. We want that to trigger something when the user taps it. So I'm going to change this to an action. And let's say we're ready to send feedback. So that's the name of the method that will be triggered when the send button is tapped. One other thing that we have to do in the header file is since we imported in the framework for the message UI, we need to also tell our header file about that and that it should use that. So we're going to say to import, and this is message UI, message UI, and that's the header file. So now it knows about the framework that we imported in. Okay, so now I can go out of the assistant editor and we're going to go into the view controller implementation file and start to set up our method. So I'm going to take this send feedback method that's at the bottom and I'm just going to move it up to the top, make it a little easier to see in the middle of the video screen rather than all the way at the bottom. Okay, and in our send feedback, so when they click the send feedback button, what we need to do is to create a mail compose view controller. So this is MF mail compose and we're going to choose Mail Compose View Controller. I'm going to open up my utility panel over to the side and as we work with these things we can take a quick look over at the explanation. And you can see here that we can use this to display a standard email view inside your application and then we can populate the fields of that view from the different values that we have. And so that's exactly what we want to do. We want to take some, we want to take our subject and our message and put it into the populated email application. So this will create a new object and we're going to call that mail composer. Okay, and then we're going to alloc and init our mail composer. And then we're going to tell our mail composer that we're going to use our self as our delegate. Now we have to go back to the header file and add in the mail composer delegate. So after the UI view controller, so we'll put in mail, we want to use the mail composer delegate. The message one would be for text messages. And you can see here that it defines the methods that we can use for managing our email interface. This will be what will let us dismiss the email screen when we're finished with it to go back to our application. Okay, next let's set up the information that we want to put into our composer, like the email address and the subject and the message. So we'll start with an NS array for email addresses, because you might have more than one when you, when you send this out. You might want it to go to a couple of different places. So let's set up these email addresses as an array to initialize with objects and then if you had more we could add on to the list here with another at sign and quote with the other email address that you wanted it to go to. So that's preparing the email address and I'll paste some code in here that will get the values from our text fields. This should look fairly familiar to you. Alright, so we have a string called send subject and it's being initialized with a format of getting the value from the subject text field and this is doing the same thing for the message to getting it from the tech message text field. Okay, now that we've done that preparation, we just set things up with our mail composer. So we say mail composer set subject. Well, let's start with the email. Let's start with it's set to recipients and the array that we're going to include in there is email addresses. Next for the subject we'll do mail composer set subject and the string that we're going to use for that is send subject and then our message 
we use set message body and that is the send message and is HTML we're gonna say no we're not allowing HTML in there so now that we have those items that are going to be filled in to our email message we can actually display it and we do that with self present modal view controller and the view controller that we're calling is the mail composer and animated will say yes it's always nice to see animation now we created a delegate we added a delegate for our mail composer and the MF mail compose view controller delegate has a cleanup method that is called when the user finishes composing and sending the email so this method is the mail compose controller did finish with result error so we're going to implement that method in here so that it will clean up and take away the the view controller for the email program so this is a void method it's not returning anything and so this is mail compose and as I start to type it up we get the autofill this is what we want the mail compose controller did finish with result and so we'll add in here that what we want it to do so this will automatically be fired when they're finished with the email program is to say self dismiss modal view controller animated and we'll say yes and so that should remove the email view controller when we're finished with it okay so let's give this a try and see what happens so we'll just say test and send all right so it pops up into our email program it took the hard-coded email address which I would recommend if you want it to go to a specific email and not rely on the user typing it in and um, then it took our subject and our message and it populated it in here and then from here the user can either choose to send it or they can cancel so I'm going to delete the draft and you can see what happens with the mail composer did finish with result cancel brought me back out to my application if I hit send we can't test this in the simulator but hitting send brings you back to your app as well so without using this MF mail compose view controller it would only take you out as far as the email program and not bring you back and the whole idea is to keep them back in your app so that's the basics of populating and sending an email from within your application.